Hi. The hanger is awesome for so many different reasons. And the one I'm gonna to talk to you about today is that transition down from the top of the swing that can cause a lot of problems for you. Not only, you know, what does that do here? It can affect obviously what happens at impact and through the ball. Now, when we come into impact, we want, you know, you probably heard about having the, the lead uh, wrist sort of bowed is the way you might have seen it, but the lead impact having shaft lean and everything like that. A lot of you will be having a bit too much flip here, too much open, whatever it might be. And the hanger will uh, enable you to really have that sensation through the ball, which is fantastic. But uh, what I've noticed is as people make their sort of transition down, they're either coming off the, the hanger, and that's why it's here, they're making, they're sort of pulling down a bit too much from the top and then trying to adjust a little bit too quickly through the ball. So what we want from the backswing, you want to feel like you're, you've got that connection from the top, so everything is neutral, but we want to feel that that neutrality and using the forearms through the ball here is actually going to help you because that's going to be a very powerful move. Yes, you can uh, come off it and then snap it at the last minute, but I want you to try feeling like you've got that connection all the way through. We want to feel that that lead wrist is rotating and we're keeping that solid feel through the ball so everything can keep turning and rotating through. That's what's going to give you compression, it's going to give you consistency and some really nice golf shots. And the beauty is the hanger gives you that instant feedback that you would like. So as I said, we want to feel that we're keeping that connection all the way through with that lead flexion and shaft lean. So we're keeping the club leaning forward and then we're extending up at the same time. The best way to try and go about this that I would like you to start with is just using some half swings you know, feet a little bit closer together, taking the club back, feeling that connection from here, and then bringing it through just to that half speed. Because if you can get it a nice crisp contact, ball first from there, you're gonna get some beautiful strikes. And that was sweet as a nut. Obviously it wasn't a full swing, but that's what I want you to try and do. Using that lead, you know, that, that lead hand and compression to get into the back of the ball and have everything rotate up and through is gonna give you a new sensation for every single shot you hit. And the hanger will teach you how to do it like that. Thanks.